Hello. In this example, we're going to look at solving a compound inequality. This is sometimes called a double inequality because essentially two inequalities have been put together and now we have an expression like this. Now, one thing you want to pay close attention to is basically there's one, two, three pieces to this inequality separated by these inequality signs. Now, when we go through the solving process, not much is going to change from just solving a normal inequality. The only thing I have to remember is that if I divide by a negative number or multiply by a negative number, I want to flip both of my signs. Also, as I say add, subtract, multiply, or divide values, I must do them to all three of these pieces. All right. So with that out of the way, let's start solving. Our goal is to get x all alone. So we start by subtracting a 4 from every single one of these pieces. This will give us a negative 7 is less than or equal to a negative 2x is less than or equal to 2. All right, looks good. Now we need to get rid of this negative 2, so we will divide everything by negative 2. Okay, negative divided by negative is a positive 7 halves. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 will be just an x. And 2 divided by a negative 2 is a negative 1. Now notice, negative 1 is smaller than 7 halves. And I divided by something negative. That's your clue that these symbols should switch. There we go. So in the end, it says that my solution x is between negative 1 and 7 halves. Let's see what that looks like on a number line. Make sure you line things up correctly. Negative 1 is less than 7 halves, so it's actually way down here. And our solution is everything in between those two points, including the points themselves, since it says or equals to. There you go. So here's our solution on a number line. In interval notation, it looks a lot like this number line. All the values between negative 1 and 7 halves. And I'm using these brackets to say that the points are included. And there you have it. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.